Hey everybody, Panther0822. I, uh... I watched the old About the Panther, About Me, uh... video not too long ago, and, uh... and noticed some issues, and so I, uh, I decided I'd do a new one. Um... I'm not entirely positive whether this is really going to be an, an update or not. I uh, probably will. Although, as I'm looking at this, I, uh, I think I'm going to turn on another light so uh, so it's not so dark. So give me a minute. All right, there we go. Not, not, uh, not so bad this time. Or still a little dark, but not as bad as it was. Uh, light's kind of in my face. So, anyways, um, so like I said, I uh, I watched the old about the about the panther video. Noticed that the audio and the video weren't syncing, and uh, honestly, I'll probably just pull the video all together. Um, although I may, I, I'm, I'm at about a point where I'm, uh, I'm thinking I'll probably actually go through a lot of the older videos and I might actually just pull, um, I might pull a lot of them. We'll see. But that's not the intent of this. The intent of this is to actually do a, um, to do an about me. So that's, uh, that's what this is going to be. This is, uh, this is an about me. Uh, and, and yeah, so anyways, uh, so my gamer tag is Panther0822. It's, uh, it's the gamer tag that I've used for a while, although, uh, on PlayStation, I, uh, I have a different gamer tag. It's, uh, Lynx0822, so, um, I, I guess I have an affinity for, for cats in a way. Um, although, honestly, I'm more of a dog person than I am a cat person, so... As evident by my, uh, by my goofy, goofy buddy that's right here beside me, so. Um, so anyways, like I said, I wanted to do, keep repeating the same thing. Um, I can tell when I'm tired or I can tell when I'm unfocused. This is one of those times where I'm a little bit of both, so. Um. So, anyways, about me. Uh, I currently live in Washington. I was born and washed, uh, born and washed, born and raised in uh, in Colorado Springs. So, um, about almost three years now. Almost three years. It'll be three years. Um, December thirty first. It'll be three full years out here. Uh, almost three years ago, my wife and I moved from Colorado to here in Washington. And um, and now we're we're at about a point of we're looking to move again. So um, we don't we we we're thinking Texas, but that that might change. We'll see. We'll see where life takes us. So, um. Anyways, about me and kind of some things. The reason I started this. Uh, the reason I started doing the uh, the YouTube thing was because I have multiple sclerosis. Um, the original diagnosis was the remissive remittent, although at this point, I'm not entirely positive that's accurate, and it's mainly my wife has pointed that out, because the main symptom that kind of drew our attention was, uh, was my left leg and the T-band muscle not relaxing, and it has not lightened up. Some days I don't have any pain. It's uncommon, but it does happen. Um, but for the most part, I'm in pain pretty close to the majority of the day. And then also some pretty severe uh, behavioral changes as well. So so that's why I started this was because in... Um, I just I got to a point where I couldn't work. I, uh, I tell customers to fuck off. I tell them to go take a long walk off a short bridge. Um, I, I'd have managers be like, this customer complained and, and you didn't seem to have any remorse or... Or give a shit. And, and the honest answer when I looked at him was, and? 
your point is what exactly? Because the truth is, is I didn't. And I honestly, and I don't. Which, uh, when you're in a retailer or in a workforce, that doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work on a professional level, and especially in today's world where the customer is always right, even when they're bold-ass wrong, and it's obvious they're trying to cheat you and scam you, they're still right. It doesn't work. Um, so that's, that's why I started this. I started this because... I needed I need something to do I need something to focus my intention on so that I'm not just sitting on my ass eating stupid amounts of sugar and gaining weight and other things and um, honestly at the heaviest that I was I was about one 180 and for me that's that's actually pretty heavy um, I'm, I'm kind of thin to moderate boned and I'm tall and I'm lanky, so for me, when I was at 180, I, I was at about I was having a little bit of Dunlap and just I I just I I looked overweight. It just I, I didn't look healthy. Um, and so I, I started doing things. I started doing what I know I needed to do to lose weight. And I uh, right now I'm about 160. If I had to weigh myself right now, I'm probably closer to 163, 165, right right around in there because. Um, I've been eating shit and I have not been doing a great job as far as exercising and, and, and things. So my weight's a little heavier than it really, really probably should be. Um, that being said, I'm about 17 to 20 pounds lighter in that 160 bracket. And, and, and honestly, if I stayed at 160, I'd be okay. I'm still a little, uh, I'm still a little overweight. Not a lot, but I am still a little bit overweight. Um, ideally, I'd like to get back down to about 150. Uh, my high school weight was 145, and honestly, that was too skinny. Um, you could see my rib cage, and it was just it, it was 145 was too skinny. Granted, I was almost pure muscle, but I was still too skinny. So 150 is about where I'd really like to be. So about another 10 pounds, about another 10 to 15 pounds. I'd have to jump on the scale and see where I'm at. Hmm. But that's um, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I also have mild to moderate brain damage. That's from when I was 18 months. I had an inner ear infection, went into my throat, swelled what's called the epiglottis flap, and. Um, and my brain was without oxygen for five and a half minutes. So the fact that I'm even able to do what I'm doing right now is is honestly a miracle. I uh, I don't always do my best to thank the maker for uh, for blessing me, but I I do what I can. And uh, some days are really good, and other days not so much. But I mean that's that's kind of the way that life is. Is life is is what we make it. And I uh, I'm trying to get to a point where I. Uh, have more of a positive outlook on things. Hmm. So, anyways, uh, what else about me that might be of interest? Uh, I've been in and out of martial arts most of my life. I've trained in kung fu. I've trained in karate, and I've trained in judo. Judo was when I was a kid in elementary school. Uh, I've also done Olympic fencing. I did that for about 15 years, and I taught it for about 11. So, um, when it comes to fighting, I'm well I'm well versed. There are there are so many people out there who could kick my ass any day of the week. Um, so I, I do not want for one moment to think I'm the, I'm I'm the bee's knees when it comes to uh, comes to sword player martial arts. I I know I have a lot to learn. I know there are a lot of people out there who could kick my ass, whether trained or untrained. It doesn't matter. There are people that could that could do it. So, um, but I train because I enjoy training. I love training. I think martial arts is fantastic. I think everybody should train. I don't think everybody should train in the style that I train in, which is uh, Sh Shell and Kempo. But I do think everybody should train. I think you should find a style that speaks to you, that resonates with you, and that you enjoy. Um, that's what I think. I, I think that, I think you should do that. Um, so. Anyways. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's really all I got for you guys. I, I really don't have a lot. I really kind of want to kind of do a, uh, a, a redone, get to know the Panther type thing. Because like I said, the last one wasn't terribly happy with the quality of it. And so I figured maybe a new one might be in, might be in order. So... Um, so here's kind of what this channel is about. Uh, it's two things. Number one, it's a vlog. The vlogs are for me, just to be really honest. Um, if you're able to find some solace in them, if, if I'm able to give you some words of wisdom, or if you're able to relate to me, or, or, or anything along those lines, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, if you're not, if you're, they're not relevant and you, and, and you don't like watching them, that's okay too, because th this isn't for everybody. Um, the people that this is for are going to be here and they're going to like and they're subscribe and they're going to follow. The people that this isn't for aren't going to. And and that's okay. Because, like I said, um, the vlogs are really for me. They're, they're so that I can, I, I can do my daily thing. I can get out in my emotional state for the day. Talk about the day. And, and, um, and just kind of get off my chest so that I'm not... I'm, I'm not letting it boil. I'm not keeping it in a, in a pot and keeping the uh, keeping it in a kettle and then keeping it closed and then not letting the air out. So um, so that's what the vlogs are for. The vlogs are for me. They're they're so that I can vent out and so that I can talk and whatnot. Not that I don't talk to my wife because I do talk to my wife on a very regular basis. And my wife and I talk. And we try and, and and we do everything that we can. But talking to a camera honestly is, is kind of therapeutic in its own way so I, I do it for therapeutic reasons I, I find it really helpful um, the second thing that I do is I do is I do the let's plays and the let's plays are for you guys just to be honest um, I do the let's plays for you guys I do them so that you guys can get some enjoyment so that you guys can sit down you can watch somebody play a game whether it be a current game whether it be a really old classic game which is wh wh whatever it is the, the let's plays the video games that I play are for you guys so that you guys get a distraction for for the 30 minutes to three and a half hours that that I uh, that I do because when, when I sit down and I uh, and I do the gameplay I again it really is as short as a 20 30 minute video and as long as like uh, I just finished Dragon Age I did the last episode of Dragon Age Origins and we'll be starting uh, Dragon Age 2 um, I'm still not sure. I'll, I, honestly, as much as I say I'll probably wait till Monday, I probably will actually do it tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Um, but I mean that that last video, I, I the the specific goal was to play until the end of the game, and that's what I did. It it was it took three and a half hours to get to that point. So, um, but I I play the games for you guys so that you guys can. Can can watch and escape from your reality. Can 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 do whatever it is you need to do, even if it is you turn me on and you have me in the background and you do something else. It's uh, the fact that you're that you're even watching watching makes me happy. So, um, so that's that's really kind of what this is. Is is it's kind of a twofold thing. Is I do it because I have multiple sclerosis and I need to give myself something to focus on and something to do. I do the vlog so that I can talk to a camera and vent out and hopefully you guys can can see a person who has multiple sclerosis, who has a lifelong disease and and you guys can ask me questions. I won't guarantee that I have the answer for you. I, I give zero guarantees when uh, when it comes to that, but I'll do what I can, and, and even if I can just offer a word, uh, give you a direction or or something, I'll I'll do, I'll do what I can as far as that goes. So, and then like I said, the video games are for you guys. I play that so that you guys can watch somebody else play a game. If it's a game, like, again, not everybody's going to play Dragon Age. It's not their cup of tea. It's not their gameplay. But they'll happily watch somebody else play it because they're interested in the game and they're interested in the series. And so, they'll, um... They'll, they'll sit down and they'll watch it because they, they, they at least enjoy watching somebody else play. So, if that's if, if that's where you're at, then, then I'm happy. 
So, anyways, I, uh, my throat's giving out on me. I'm a little tired. So, anyways, I, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I, I give you kind of an updated about me, kind of what the channel is about, and, uh, and, and go from there. So, anyways... Thank you guys so much. I can't thank you enough. I really can't. And honestly, I know I know a lot of I know uh, I know the let's players, I know the YouTubers because I've watched other ones and I and I know that we say it a lot. But I mean, the, the simple truth is we can't say it enough because if it wasn't for the if it if you guys weren't watching, we wouldn't be able to do this other than we'd be doing it for our own sake. But we do it for you guys. Yes, part of it is we do it for ourselves, but we also do it for you. So that you guys have something to watch. So that you guys have something that that allows you to de-stress and unfocus and and relax and and get away from whatever it is that's going on in your life. We're, we we give you an, an outlet for however long you watch us. So thank you for thank you from my from the bottom of my heart. And I can't speak for them. I cannot speak for other let's let's players and YouTubers. I really can't. Other than the fact that if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't and we wouldn't be able to do this. So that's that's what I can speak for as far as that goes. Beyond that, I can't speak for. Him. So on on behalf of myself, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. So speaking of support, a couple ways that you can support me or any YouTuber for that matter. Uh, number one, hit the subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, you you support us, and so we want to thank you for that. Two, hit the bell hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever any of us upload, so that when we do an upload or we do a stream, you get notified so that you can watch us at at your leisure. So that's the second thing that you can do to um, to help us out. And and number three is check the links down below because some of us, not all of us, but some of us. Um, have have a Streamlabs, or we have a Patreon, or we have a GoFundMe. We have some type of, of, of fundraiser or financial thing that we're asking for help for. And that's the third way that you can help us, is by going to those links, clicking on those links, and, and donating a dollar, five dollars, a trillion dollars, whatever it is, just... You go go to those links and 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 hit them and support us there. So those are the three ways that you can support any YouTuber. It doesn't matter which way, whether it's me or or others. I don't want to name any others because um, I don't want to risk any copyright issues or I don't want to ris risk speaking out of turn for them. So, but I can speak from experience. The three things are. Hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell icon, and then checking the links below for any... Che just checking the links down below and supporting anything that's in the links. So, anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support. And until the next time, this is Panther0822. Peace out, guys. Have a fantastic night.